Now we'll talk about velocity and speed. We just said that velocity is a vector. If you're moving, you have to be moving in some direction. Now when we're dealing with one dimensional motion, just motion along a line, forward or backward. So say for example we have a little car here that's driving along the road and, um, and it can either go forward or backward. Okay, when, when we uh, deal with the motion of the car, we usually use positive and negative to indicate the direction. You could use north or south or forward, backward, or left, right, but it's very common mathematically to set up a number line like this and one direction is positive and the other direction is negative. And we, it, the number line is good for that because the number line also naturally has a positive direction and a negative direction as well. So the point here is with one dimensional motion, it's common to use the sign of the number, positive or negative, to indicate, dire indicate direction. Now when we're talking about velocity and speed, there's a difference in velocity and speed. In ordinary language, in typical conversation, the two words are used interchangeably. But in physics, we have specific definitions. In science in general, and math in particular, we try to be very exact. And so words are precisely defined, or as much as they can be. And speed and velocity do have slightly different definitions that you need to be aware of. Speed is simply how fast you're going, or how fast something is moving. That's an object's speed. An object's velocity tells us how fast it's going and in what direction. How fast and in what direction. And so you see the key thing here with velocity is this direction is added on. So velocity, in other words, is a vector. Speed, we would say, is a scalar, S-C-A-L-A-R. Velocity is a vector, a directional quantity. So if you say something is moving at 20 miles per hour, you're talking about the object's speed. If you say it's moving at 20 miles per hour east, or indicate some, some kind of direction there, you're talking about the object's velocity. So that's our, our technical difference in speed and velocity. Velocity has direction. So imagine our car again. And suppose it's moving at 20 miles per hour. Well, if it's moving this way, which in the way we've set up this number line, this way is forward or to the right in our diagram, we would say its velocity is 20 miles per hour. And, w and when we say 20 miles per hour, and, we, and we're talking about the velocity, and we put a positive number there, we recognize that the positive number indicates a direction this way, the, the positive direction on the number line. And even though we're not writing here, for example, east, or, or to the right, or forward, we still understand that velocity is a directional quantity. It's a vector and we understand that the direction is implied by this being a positive number. We know that that means it's moving to the right. If it were moving to the left or in reverse in this case, moving in the negative direction, we would say that the velocity is negative 20 miles per hour and the negative number would indicate motion in the negative direction that way. In both cases, the speed of the car would be 20 miles per hour. The speed is simply how fast it's moving regardless of the direction. The velocity would indicate how fast and also the direction.